Welcome to the Drill Pros video on line hole tool positioning. Now, the line hole function is on the ES10 display on the bottom right, and we can see it looks like a line with five dots or holes on it. And what the line hole tool positioning allows us to do is to put a line of holes along our workpiece equally spaced. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that does and how to operate it. Okay, now we start on our workpiece and we already have our mill lined up and this is where we're going to start the line hole function. And I'd like to start by pointing out that the start angle or the angular offset is off of the x-axis or the longitudinal axis. So our angle will be from this line and it'll be clockwise starting at zero degrees all the way around in a circular pattern to 360 degrees. So with that understanding, let's go ahead and program our display. The first thing we need to do is simply push the line hole function button and it asks us or prompts us for a line angle. So let's go ahead and put in 340 degrees. We enter that. It's accepted that entry. We'll arrow down once. Our line distance, today we're going to work with 80 millimeters. So I'll push 80 and enter. We'll arrow down for the next function. The number of holes will be four today, so I can go ahead and enter that push arrow down and that is the X and Y readout or the the DRO position for hole number one so as we've already placed our mill over the start point of our line hole that present position would be hole number one so let's go ahead and mark that on our workpiece that's hole number one Now we come back to our display, we arrow down, and that is hole number two. So let's go ahead and move the mill so that the X and Y coordinates are zeroed out, and that would be right directly over hole number two. Okay, now we've moved our mill so that the X and Y coordinates are zeroed out, so we are directly above hole number two. So let's go ahead and mark that on our workpiece. Now for our next hole, all we have to do is simply arrow down. Again, it shows hole number three. It gives an X and Y coordinate for that. Of course, it's different from our present position. So again, we simply zero out our mill table so that the X and Y windows equal zero. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so back now with hole number three, we've moved the mill table so that the X and Y coordinates are zeroed and that means that we are directly above hole number three. Let's go ahead and mark that. Okay, now for our final hole, hole number four, again, we arrow down and let's zero out the coordinates. Okay, so now we're at our final coordinate, which is hole number four. We've moved the mill table so that the coordinates are zeroed out. And if we look over at the workpiece, then we can see that we are indeed at the fourth hole. So let's go ahead and mark that. And I'm going to move the table forward so we can get a better shot of that. And so what we've accomplished here is the line hole function. You can see that we have four points, points 1, 2, 3, and 4, in a direct line at an angle, a starting angle, of 340 degrees. And remember from earlier that this is from the x-axis and it's clockwise, so this actually our starting angle of 340 would go all the way around and basically be 20 degrees off 
of our x-axis. So that's actually the line hole angle. And from that 340 degrees, we gave a distance of 80 millimeters and we specified four bolt holes. Now one other thing that I'd like to mention, if at any time when you're in the line hole function you want to exit out of it, all we need to do is simply press the zero key and you can see that the display changes and now instead of reading absolute or ABS in the upper right window, we see the display says XYZ dash ABS. So this references our original absolute coordinate system while still retaining the fact that we can get back to our line hole function. And all we need to do that is simply press zero and we're back to our line hole function. Okay, so that completes the line hole function off of the ES10. It's easy to do. I've shown you how to use it and now you can do it too.